Hello guys, welcome to Learn School Online. Today's video for SAS. In this video, I show you how to compile SAS file into CSS and what is different between SAS and SCSS file. Now, for the beginning of this video, I show you how to compile the SAS file and how to get the CSS. Now, first of all, I'm open my C drive. This is my C drive. I am and then after I'm going to my SAS folder. This is my SAS folder. I want to do this that I open this folder into the command prompt. The shortcut method of open this folder to command pro the only that you click on the address bar and write C M D. That write the cmd and click uh, hit enter your directory is open into the command pro like that this is your directory and it is automatically open in the command pro only you have to write here cmd and enter see your directory is automatically open into your command pro now i show you how to compile your sas file into CSS. Now see, I write SAS watch and first of all give the your SAS file path. It's sure here my SAS file. This is my SAS file. I have put variables, nested, all these things I put in my SAS file. See what I do? I first I put the path as CSS slash style dot scss then divider and then after where the result is output i need to put the output in style so css folder into style css file i have to put here css slash style now see Taking little bit time for doing C. SAS is watching for changes. Press Ctrl C to stop. C. There is an uh, output result for SAS. If you want to recheck this, leave and save it. I have to do my SAS file. Close and I doing this cut save and paste save and the and the compiler is run automatically then i go back to my uh, css file and click to open then see the result is automatically come into the css file the compiler will automatically detect all these changes and uh, changes are automatically made into the style file now this is a uh, how to compile your SAS file. If in any in, in your computer the SAS is not installed, first you install the SAS. If you want to check your uh, um, if you want to check that um, you 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 are Windows having a Ruby or not, only write SAS minus version. Yes, the Ruby says 3.7.4 is already installed in my computer. If, if, <coughs> sorry, if, if um, the Ruby is not installed because SAS is uh, written in Ruby and the Ruby needs for the compiler the result. If your Ruby is not installed in your computer, then a, a simple command gen install. This is a simple command for installing the SAS. First, you go to the Ruby window downloader, click or uh, download the uh, window downloader, and then you have to install this. You have to go Google and uh, uh, write Ruby install window. You have to download this, install this, and you have to run only this command gen install sas this is a install the sas in your computer now this is a um, 
part of how to install and how to compile your CSS SAS file into CSS. Now I show you what a different between SAS and CSS file. First of all, I tell you that you have to use only a CSS file because the, uh, it is easy to read. I copy this old uh, content of this file and paste here of style SAS file and save. In the SAS file, you have no need to the terminator after the statement. One more thing. You have to enter in the next statement. Don't need the semicolon, this terminator. And you also don't need the curly brackets. The size compiler automatically uh, know that that is P is under the body. And one more thing, the uh, colon is uh, put before the if you using the variables you have to put the column before the your statement now see you have to learn the uh, how to uh, compile the sas file and what is the difference between sas and css now i show you some uh, uh, theory part of the sas now see this is a theory part for the sas SAS. What is SAS? SAS is a CSS preprocessor which helps to reduce preparation with CSS and save time. It is more stable and powerful CSS extension language that describes the style of the document clearly and structurally. Why learn SAS? SAS is an easily to use styling language that helps reduce a lot of the reputation and Ability challenges of the traditional CSS. Learning SAS will not only let you scale style when working a big web development project, it will also make it much faster and more efficient to write reusable CSS styles for sketch from small, small, small project. Basically, SAS is um, happy to use when you are the large project, it is not the JavaScript, is it a oh, SAS? Now, if you are using a last project, you have to use SAS, it's saving the time and all those things. Now, in this course, I show you the how to using SAS, SAS syntax, nesting, variables, interpolation, data type, operation, import, partition, media directory, if and for, mixing. All these things I show you in this course. In the next video, I show you the nesting and the variable that you use, how to use in the SAS. Now, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon for more video updates. Thanks.